you doing, adventurers? Doing good. <laughs> <laughs> we are on a big adventure this weekend, and we have someone new you have not met before. Who is it? Cat. Cat, like in meow. We've known Cat. We were trying to figure out how long we've known you for. Yeah. Since 2009. At least since 2009. So we've known Cat yeah. a long time. She's been yeah. a great friend of the family. She's family now at this point. Yeah. And we're excited to have her with us here. We've got a big adventure today someplace I've actually never been yet. We're going. Yay! Yes, we're going to San Juan Island. So the San Juan Islands is a chain of islands here in Washington that are really popular. You've got San Juan Island itself, which has Friday Harbor on it. Then you've also got Orcas Island, Shaw Island, and Lopez Island. So we're here in Anacortes, and it's a kind of overcast, ugly day. So we're kind of like, what the heck? This is where you would catch the ferry to get to the islands. We have one senior and two regular adults, and with the car it costs us 80 <laughs> something dollars. Yeah, 87, I think. It's a bit yeah. of an investment to get over there, but we're actually gonna spend the night camping there. We're um, gonna camp! Yes, we're really excited about camping so that we can get the most of our money and spend two days there. So travel tip to come to San Juan Islands make sure you get reservations in advance because they're super popular. Ferry times fill up very, very quickly in advance, like two months in advance. You can actually go online and reserve two days in advance and they'll have new spots open. So make sure you get reservations for your trip to San Juan Islands and make sure you get your reservations for your trip coming back from the San Juan Islands because the only spot available tomorrow Sunday is like 10, 10 p.m. So we're gonna have a nice oh, full weekend. That's what you were talking about. Yeah, we'll be able to come back to 10 p.m. We're stuck though. And the then island. you need to, if you make reservations, we just found out you have to be here 30 minutes before your res, before the ferry takes off. We were 25 and they yeah. said our reservation's she gone. Was not very nice about it. So wasn't very nice at all. No. So we made it. We think we made it. We hope we made it. We're in line, and I guess we're technically on standby at this point but she said there's a few spots available unless those guys already gave them away there's so a lot of cars behind us yeah so i'm hoping we we're gonna make it we're not letting any of them in front of us <laughs> no <laughs> stay back there stay back there all right so we are on the ferry yes we are it's about an hour's ferry ride and we're excited it is kind of raining now so what's up with that but well, let's hope it stops by the time we get over there. Are we coming to Friday Harbor? Yay! Yay! It's cute! We like it. I think it's cute. And the sun is finally coming up. And the sun is finally Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Here comes the sun. And I say, it's all right. deck just looking at the views of the water and yes I say rough not roof, <laughs> roof. people and Teresa always makes fun of the way I say that how do you say it rough you say roof going on top of the roof? Roof. Roof. roof roof how do you say it a bond a roof a roof oh well, yeah when you sing it but I go on top of the roof I'm on top of the roof right now yep I'm roof. on a roof me too roof. so not roof but the roof the roof Anyways, <laughs> we're going to wander around Friday Harbor a little bit, uh, work off some of our breakfast because we actually had breakfast in Bow on the way yeah. over. And if you uh, remember our video, Chuckanut Drive, we ate at the Farm to Market Bakery. I'm going to link that video here so you can check it out if you haven't seen it yet. It's one of my earlier videos. And it was delicious. It was we, delicious. Oh my gosh. We guys, and the ginger snap cookies yeah. were wonderful. Yes. And we had homemade biscuits with homemade eggs and bacon and cheese oh, and she so had she I had, had the chorizo. chorizo yeah yeah so, we had a good ferry ride what do you guys think it was really? smooth we got to hear about orcas there yeah. was actually a naturalist on yes. the, on the boat from that, the whale museum here in San Juan Island that gave us a lecture on saving orcas yes very the orcas, interesting the orcas are endangered, the orcas. endangered so yeah. recycle reuse reduce be smart about what you kind of seafood you eat. Stop being so noisy. 
don't be noisy in a boat. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, support habitat restoration, which is actually what I do uh, working in my job. I, I, I support salmon habitat restoration. She's so. trying to bring the Chinook back for those orcas. Yeah, yeah personally. So, yes. Yeah, I'm working really hard to bring this, the Chinook back. So there'll be more than 73 then. Yes. Yeah, there's only 73 southern residents. Yeah. I don't know how many northern residents. They've studied the I'm southern sure. more. Now we're just going to wander around, see what we oh, find. Yeah. There's Come a lot of cute us. little buildings Come and we think us. it's adorable. <laughs> it that little gift shop is super cute. It's right, I don't know the name of it, but it's right under Friday's Crab House. And the woman that works there has so many wonderful, fun, cute things like <laughs> this little guy <laughs> and mom got cat so cat got this this little guy for me as a present and then yeah. mom got cat this as a bottle koozie yeah and it's I got cute it's got a cat for cat See? so when we drink our apple cider tonight our washing our hard cider then yeah. cat has something to keep her bottle cold this is like gonna be our little mascot for the trip because he's so cute <laughs> hello how you doing Baby loves sharks. i i love sharks in the sense that i'm cautiously aware of sharks if, Thanks, Mom. If she sees any, even in a in an aquarium, great she, big sharks, not small sharks, big ones. She goes, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm getting a coconut margarita. <laughs> Me too. And this is just it's just we're relaxing. It's fun. And we're gonna get the smoked salmon plate, and they actually smoke their salmon in house, so that's exciting. And I'm getting an old fashioned because I'm an old lady. <laughs> the perfect little bite. That is so good. The salmon is amazing with the capers and the the lemon juice, and oh, amazing. But that smoked salmon, incredible. Dan Rickers did a good job smoking salmon. Coconut margarita is excellent. Oh my gosh. This is so good. I made my little thing. I put every piece on my first bite. This is my second one. And it had everything. It had salt, it had crunch, it had green ray, and it had flavor. <laughs> this is a great appetizer. Hello, my name's Jay James from San Juan Island, Freddie Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> After drinks and appetizers at Downriggers, which was fantastic, and yes. we loved Peugeot. <laughs> she was one of our favorites. Okay. We are gonna go over to San Juan County Park where we're staying for the evening. We're put up our tent. Yeah, we're camping because it's actually everything was booked this weekend. <laughs> but we're tough. Yeah, we like camping, so we're gonna stay there. And actually, on that side of the island, which is the west side of the island, we've heard from multiple people that that's where all the whales swim by, the orcas yes. and the different whales. So we're excited to be staying over there and we're getting more alcohol so if we're cold at night we won't be <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go set up our tent and then maybe come and get dinner here in Friday Harbor yeah all right we just checked into San Juan County Park and yes. look at our view from our campsite it's beautiful isn't that gorgeous it's so pretty so here's our campsite there's our car and then we're gonna do s'mores tonight we brought fixins for s'mores there's the girls soaking Hi. in the sun Hi. And then we've got, this is the rest of our little campsite. I'm guessing we'll put our tent over there. Campsite number six. This area apparently, it gets really deep really quickly. So there's a lot of nutrients that come in. So fish like to eat right outside of here. And then of course when there's fish, there's orcas that like to eat the fish. So great place. So we set up my tent. It's a nice orange tent because orange has been my favorite color for a while. And we're relaxing. Okay, so we're back in Friday Harbor because Amy needs ice cream. It was actually really warm when we were setting up our tent over. Hot. At, yes, okay, it was hot. And, and so, yellow jackets, yellow jackets, yellow jackets. Yeah, Kat was getting swarmed. Well, not swarmed, but the yellow jackets were all over her. So we're gonna get some ice cream at this cute little place right next to where the ferry dock is and then we're gonna drive around friday harbor a little bit check it out see what it's all about and we have reservations tonight at the back door kitchen at 8 p.m uh i think it's patricia she's the woman at at the campsite. at the campsite and she gave us so many options so many ideas of things places to eat things to do i will tell you one thing i'm learning really quickly about san juan island everybody here is super friendly they live genuinely here friendly. And they really want to tell you all the best places to eat yeah. and to go to. Everybody has great suggestions and they're just so excited to tell you all about it. Okay, so 
I got the Marion Berry Cheesecake and it's delicious. What'd and mom got the mango pistachio, pistachio which oh. is good, but it's a little more icy. Not quite as creamy as this one. All right, so we have reservations tonight at Backdoor Kitchen, which we've heard from multiple people is really good. And it's kind of weird though, because like it's kind of really backdoor-ish. And it's hard to find parking and nowhere to go. There's a sign that says enter. And then, so we came from, we were walking over there and this, all you can see is like the consignment shop signs. And there's a little teeny sign that says backdoor kitchen. And then we kind of walked over this way to get to it. So you have to kind of go through a back door in order to get to this. <laughs> Yay, hi. This Cheers. Gin, we're two gin drinkers. Yes. Gin oh. and cucumber, gin and basil. Thai basil. And then I got a Capital Vodka shaken with fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. I'll just list the ingredients here. <laughs> but mine is mine's much stronger than the girls. And that is sweet. We're sweeters. They we like, like sweet, sweet drinks. drinks. Yeah. Okay, we are seated now. It's a Thai cuisine, but it's more like new Thai. And the drinks are great. They are strong but we're having a really good time drinking them and we're gonna try the Vietnamese style pork shoulder and I'm gonna have scallops, so I'm really excited about that. Kat's gonna get scallops and mom's thinking about the crispy duck leg, so it's a really pretty area. There's a lot of bamboo around us and it's a very relaxing atmosphere. I'm excited, I'm having another drink and I'm having scallops. Yo, 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 yo. I'm excited too, how are you doing? It's nice here and everybody is so nice. Like you said earlier in another video that everybody is so nice here. It's, it's fun. Look at that purple ball behind you. Yeah. So this is the pork shoulder and it's got like lettuce and mango and cucumber and I'm so excited about this. This is so good. Spicy? Do you think it's spicy? Mmm, that's some mango. It's nice because it doesn't, it's not too sweet. And then you got the cucumber. I love this. Mmm, oh that's good. The cucumbers are really spicy, cat. It's the cucumber that's really spicy. Yeah, something on the cucumber, like the sauce that they put on it or something, is kind of spicy. Mm. What do you think, Mom? I can't talk. Mm. Hi, everybody. Cat here, and I'm having scallops, and it's the best meal I've had in a long time. I'm so enjoying it, and I'm enjoying my friends. What a wonderful vacation I'm having. <laughs> Hello. We're having s'mores. It's four minutes to quiet time and nobody is. <laughs> you look creepy. <laughs> Shut up. So this morning when we got up, we're here at the campsite and we looked out the tent and there were a whole bunch of people standing near the water out here. And sure enough, there was a pot of orcas. Actually, there were two. There was one pot of orcas like right here and then one further back. And so we watched them go all the way up. Out that way, it was really cool. And then not only were the orcas, you know, jumping and doing their thing, feeding, there were little fish, big fish actually, jumping here in the water really up close. And I wish they were jumping now, but they're not. And unfortunately, I didn't have my camera this morning, but this view is gorgeous in its own right. Well, one more quick thing to point out is that over there <clears throat> is Vancouver Island. So Victoria is actually down there towards the end of the island. But then you've got this middle section where there's a lot of houses and stuff between uh, Victoria and Sydney, BC. Which Sydney is where you would, if you actually took a ferry from Anacortes to get to Vancouver Island, you would get off in Sydney, BC, which is like right over there. in a pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob SquarePants! Absorbent and yellow and porous is he! SpongeBob SquarePants! 
was the company store. So John McMillan actually built this whole town of Roche Harbor when he started the lime uh, and cement industry. There was a lot of lime that he mined here. And this whole town of Roche Harbor, it's, it's, well, it's a resort now, but this whole place of Roche Harbor, Harbor was a company town that was basically just the people that worked at his lime and cement mine. He actually had his own credits. So we are desperate for coffee, especially Kat. And we're gonna go get some coffee but and breakfast here at the Lime there's Kiln no. Cafe. There's she, oh, oh, where's Kat? Oh, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> and we got some donuts. They make the donuts here themselves. I'm excited about the maple. We both, Mom and I both wanted maple donuts. And she asked if I wanted to share and I was like, no. We're hungry. We're so hungry. <laughs> I know because it's, it's it is it's twelve, and yeah. so we don't even get breakfast. So, so I'm gonna get the quesadilla. Cat's just getting. Ooh, look at that. What is it? This is the view. But mostly, what we're here for is coffee. coffee. Cat was like, I'm gonna be grumpy until you get me some coffee. <laughs> so we're happy to get her some coffee. Look at my hat that I got yesterday in San Juan Island. Good. The mountains are calling, which is true. I'm a mountain girl. What'd you get, Cat? I got coleslaw and a bowl of clam chowder and Ooh. a mocha. Can I have a taste of your clam chowder? Yes, you can. Because I am a clam chowder girl. Here you go. If you haven't seen my clam chowder crawl video yet, you should. This is interesting. It's got like green stuff in it. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That's different. It's good though. It's very herby, yeah. which is not usual with clam chowder, but it's good. I like it. Good flavor. A lot of flavor. So there's my donut. I haven't tasted it yet. Where'd yours go, Mom? I don't know. I just picked it up and all of a sudden this is all I have left. <laughs> it is so nice. It's a really nice donut. We'll link the donut crawl video up there. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. this donut. is good. This this ranks up there with the Canada donut crawl. But apple fritter is still her favorite. Not in Vancouver. Not in Vancouver. They you don't know, make. They, we haven't oh, yeah. found so many good ones there. Their apple fritter They're is just not different. like American. Oh. Apple Mom got the Cubano. Look at all that pork in there. That looks amazing. And then Amy got a hatch and marinated chicken quesadilla, which also let's see looks quesadilla. -y. I like it. We got. Baby, baby bear, mama bear, and daddy bear. <laughs> found this wonderful podcast called Lore and I, I love listening to podcasts and this particular one uh, is hosted by Aaron Mankey and it's about like different American lores, ghost tales, stories that people have passed for generations and generations and and I was listening to this one and it was about this mausoleum here on San Juan Island and I was like oh I live no close to that. John McMillan who was the founder of this town of Roche Harbor, oh, yeah. the company town, he oh, created so this cool. mausoleum for himself and his family. And what's interesting about it is it's supposed to be really haunted. What were some of the things they said? They see little blue orbs On over the seat. seat. Yeah, yeah. You can hear voices. And you can hear them laughing at night. Yeah. And like they're all sitting together having dinner. I thought that was a nice Yeah, because touch. it's like a, he put like a table and chairs inside the mausoleum, so. And the, I think a body is buried under each seat. In the actual, there's urns in the actual chairs. And then people sit on the seats and feel uncomfortable and have to get off. At least that's what he said. the lore says. So we're gonna go check it out and see what this mausoleum, just a random large mausoleum with columns and stuff out on this little teeny island is like. Interesting dedication to himself in his life. Yeah, I feel like he was a little bit stuck on himself. But he was really into Freemasons and he was a fraternity, like a head of a fraternity. So he probably just liked the pomp and circumstance of things like that too. Yeah, cause, but to me it just sounds like, so he owned all this land. He had all the laborers get paid by money that they had to use in all of his stores. He would pay them and get all their money back. When Company script, anything. yeah. So. Interesting. Yeah. There's gravestones in Oh, there's grave. There, some people were buried here, so it is a cemetery of sorts. This isn't the mausoleum, though. So a lot.
luckily, this is a nice hike so that we can work off some of the food we had this morning. <laughs> the lady I talked to over at Roche Harbor said, oh yeah, it's 15 minute walk, maybe 20 at the most, but she was very skinny and fit, so I'm thinking that she didn't mean for us. <laughs> They're feeling the spirits. Do you feel the spirits? Yeah, yeah, I do. Non-believer. <laughs> so based on what the podcast said, and like I said, you should go check it out yourself because I'm gonna link it down below. So everything has symbolism here, so the steps even have symbolism. This first set of three steps is the three stages of man, so I'm guessing what, childhood, adulthood, and then old age. And the next set of steps was Oh, look, and that one says Macmillan on it. Oh, look, at, there's the post that's... Not, there's one post that's not, not completed and on purpose. It says that your job in life is never done even after death. And then, let's see, five stairs was the five senses. One, two, three, four, five. The first three right here? Age of, uh, the ages of man. Well, yeah. Baby, man, death? And, you know, old, old, old age. So then you got the Macmillan right there. You've got the five senses. Uh, let's see what. Hearing, smelling, seeing, touching, tasting. tasting. Have, uh, I'm sitting in John Ouija McMillan's chair, Ouija chair. Game here. Yeah, I wouldn't do a, I wouldn't do an Ouija game at this table. I think it would be exciting. Yeah, you would. I I believe too much in the spirits. You don't, so you wouldn't be nervous. Right. Yeah. Whose chair are you sitting in, Cat? I'm in Fred. Fred McMillan. So must one of his sons. One of his sons, Cat. Dorothy McMillan. Oh. Must be his daughter. Yeah. Or is he a husband or something? Because this one has a last name that's different. Friendly. What was the, the last, the lady that's at the table, that the secretary? Ada. Ada was his secretary's name, and she got mixed in with one of the kids' ashes. All right, so we're here waiting for our ferry, and this is the, what is it called? The fishing brew. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi. We got our beer. We got our brew. Yep. Now we're about to get our fish. I can't wait to try these fish and chips. It's recommended. This was supposed Several to be the people. best here. So let's see. We got the halibut. Cat got caught, right? Yes. I got so we'll, halibut. Then. We'll show that to you. Did I got you get salmon. I got a two piece. I got waffle fries. Oh, they didn't have any salmon? No. And then we got, oh, I got a sweet potato waffle fries. What'd you get? Kat? Sweet potato waffle fries. Yes. Cheers. So relaxed. Cheers. There's our halibut. Two piece halibut. Mom and I shared it. It was a. Uh, $18, I think, for two pieces. Halibut's usually pretty expensive, so this looks good, and then it's got these wonderful sweet potato waffle fries, and actually, my favorite thing to eat with sweet potato fries is yellow mustard, so I'm gonna see if they have any. Sweet potato fries, good, I couldn't wait. Mm -mm -mm. It looks good, it looks good yes. Nice and flaky. Take a bite. It's hot. Don't burn your mouth. It breaks apart good. Yeah, it's good and done. I'll put it a little bit. Mmm. Good? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay, so look, we have a little whale tail behind us. Isn't that cute? Yeah. <laughs> so did you have a good time here in Santa? I had such a great time, and I'm on YouTube. When we left Bellingham yesterday morning, it was rainy and misty, and it was. We thought, uh oh, it's going to be. But oh yeah. We've had nothing yeah. but beautiful sunny weather right beautiful here on the weather. island. Beautiful weather. Yeah. And Today right especially. Now, it's gorgeous. It's just. Yes. And our view, Amy, will show that to you in a minute. It's, oh well, we're closing. Sorry. Well, I'll show here. I'll show it to you now. Here's the view from where we are. We're looking. We're going to be get, catching the ferry, not this ferry, but the next ferry, and that's where you wait for the ferry. And then you've got these cute little shops over here. There's a, a used bookstore which we might go check out after this. And then a couple little 
restaurants. It's super cute. I just love mm -hmm. this Friday Harbor. This morning we spent most of the day in Roche Harbor. Yes. It was so cute. And we loved the history of it. I would like to actually spend more time over there, but just... We got exhausted. We got tired, and it was... <laughs> it's been a nice, beautiful weekend, and but also, like... We're old. We camped on the ground. You know what? That takes it out of old ladies. <laughs> yes, and, indeedy doody. Yeah, and you know, we're just kind of relaxing. So this weekend was mostly about just taking our time, enjoying a new place, but beautiful. also feeling relaxed, because my work's been exhausting lately. We had a wonderful time. Yes, Relaxing. we did. Amazing food. Amazing yes. food. Yeah, really good food. Good drinks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and great friends. Yes. Our cat here. Uh, I'm here. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Was, oh my God. Oh my God, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> so we just are so happy to be, you know, spending this weekend together and we had a blast. And we believe that you should come to San Juan Island because it's incredible. This is definitely a wonderful travel destination. Yes. And we're going to be back because there are so many things we didn't we hit didn't that we do. wanted to. Yes. There's like the English camp, the American camp. These are different. The uh, sculpture garden. The sculpture garden in Roche Harbor. We didn't get to go to Westcott Shellfish. We wanted to go there big time. Really bad. We wanted to, we wanted to go on the tro Jolly Trolley, which takes you all around the island, tells you history about Ten it. Ten bucks for an no, hour which is and 40 actually minutes. pretty cheap for a yes. hop on, hop off. Yes. And uh, other food places we want to try. And... Maybe next time we could go whale watching. Who knows? There's yeah. there's so many things in kayaking. There's zip lining cats. So next time we come, we'll have to go zip lining. <laughs> and we'll be back not only to come to San Juan Island, but also to check out the other islands, Orcas Island, Lopez Island, Shaw Island. Yeah. So there will be more San Juan Islands videos in the future. And I'm just glad we got to spend this one with Kat. Yay! So thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, click that like button. Click it. Click, 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 click. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe right now. Click, 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 click. Subscribe. <laughs> or they'll subscribe below. <laughs> join us for the next video. Yes, stay join us. Tuned. Stay tuned for more videos and more adventures with us. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.